The Youth Ministries Department of North Philippine Union Conference embodies the core elements of the youth ministry philosophy during the 2016 to 2020 Quinquennium. The GC leadership chose the theme, Reach the World for the Quinquennium, with emphasis on the total member involvement. The youth ministry supports its program by emphasizing the total youth involvement through leadership empowerment and giving them the keys as expressed in the words, pass it on. We pass on the baton of leadership and responsibility to our young people to take part in the great work entrusted to each of us. Amicus Convention is a yearly program for our young people who are studying in public colleges and universities. This is to gather them as they continue to be nurtured, trained, organized, and empowered to be campus ambassadors for Christ. The yearly themes of the Amicus Convention are Transforming Adventist Students into Campus Ambassadors Campus Ambassadors in Words, in Action, and in Faith and Absolute Obedience Another annual event of NPUC Youth Ministries is the Young Professionals Convention and Mission Trip. These are the convention themes. Limitless Called and sharing to others the Word of God, or so. For the year 2020, the NPUC Young Professionals scheduled a mission trip in Mindoro, but due to the COVID-19 pandemic, they decided to have the NPUC-wide Young Professionals Digital Prayer Conference with the theme, Keep, Holding, and Beholding. The NPUC Youth Ministries supported the Global Youth Day, a yearly program initiative of the GC Youth Ministries, where our young people and other members of the church participated in doing acts of kindness. These activities kicked off the week of prayer for the young people in the local churches which were held before the GYD. Young people are also involved in evangelism such as Voice of Youth and Youth Camp Evangelism. In 2019, Youth Ministries of Southern Luzon Mission held the Power of One camp in Camarina Sur. There were 1,400 delegates and by God's grace, 486 precious souls were baptized. The families of youth directors of NPUC organized a family evangelistic campaign at Benawe, Ifugao. The campaign was spearheaded by Pastor Dave Morado with his family and was joined by five families of his director counterparts. Praise God! Seven precious souls were baptized. On July 31 to August 4, 2018, 1,600 youth leaders from around the world gathered in Kassel, Germany for the Global Youth Leaders Congress. With the theme, Pass It On, the event's objective was to equip empower, and engage a generation of spirit-filled leaders to pass on the legacy of Reformation. Youth leaders from all over the territory of SSD gathered at Central Philippine Adventist College in Bacolod City for the Youth Leadership Congress held on May 14-18, 2019. There were more than 100 delegates coming from the North Philippines. The Congress theme is Ask. The church is facing a serious depletion of young people because they are leaving at the back door. It has often been reported that youth are leaving the church not because of doctrinal issues, but because of relational issues. The reasons for losing them can be researched and studied, but something must be done now. The youth want to be recognized, listened to, appreciated, and involved in the ministry. For this reason, the NPUC Youth Ministry supported the GC and SSD training for senior youth leaders. We praise and thank God for His guidance to the mission and conference youth directors who serve through different kinds of ministry online to nurture our young people despite the pandemic. NPUC supported the program of SSD to form and organize a prayer ministry network. Missions and conferences organized a prayer network down to the areas and local churches. 
the NPUC Youth Prayer Network meets online every Sunday at 4.30 a.m. to 6 a.m. The NPUC Youth Ministries Department launched a nightly youth program aired live on Hope Channel Luzon on July 26 to August 1, 2020. The title of the program is KKK, Kabataan, Kumusta ka? The nightly topics for the devotionals were shared by the youth directors of missions and conferences which discussed the relationship of youth to parents, family, church leaders, fellow youth, fellow youth leaders, opposite sex, and to God. Pastor Ron Henibago discussed the relationship of youth to God in the divine worship. After the devotional message, there were discussions and questions and answers. Every night, different guests were invited to answer the questions of the viewers. The hosts were Pastor Dave Morado, Pastor Bong Viernes, and Carla Liwanagan. There was also a season of prayer at the end of the program. Our national hero, Dr. Jose Rizal, said, Ang kabataan ang pag-asa ng bayan. In the same manner, this rings true as our young people are the hope of our church. Let us continue to work together with our young people in reaching more souls for God's kingdom.